OK, well, 125 photographs of classic British Fords of the post-war era coming up. And we begin with my 1952 Ford Anglia. Uh, regulars to the channel will have seen this car in numerous videos by now. If you've not seen them yet, please come and take a look after you're finished here. That's followed by SLC 329, which is a Mark II Ford console convertible. Alas, that registration is now on a 2017 Land Rover. AUJ 172A, that's a 1963 Ford console Capri. With a Mark I Capri alongside and later ones behind. This PTD 696, that's a 1953 Ford Anglia E494A. There's a 100E parked behind it. From 1966 now, and a Mark I Cortina four-door. And looking slightly sad, in a scrapyard many years ago, a Thames 400E camper van. Did anyone rescue it? Into a classic car show now, and we've got a Mark III Zodiac estate car. 100 CBT from 1964. That's followed by CRF 667K, that's a 1971 Ford Capri, a 1300cc example. Down to Silverstone and GUN 805D, that's a Ford GT40. Fantastic car, 1966. That's followed by a Zodiac, Mark III Zodiac, KAS 669. That car dates to 1962. There's a Mark 1 Cortina alongside. Next up, a head-on shot of a Ford Zodiac Mark II, YXY270, that's a 1960 car. And this car features twice in this collection of classic Fords. And that's followed by a 1978 3-litre Capri Mark II. And a Mark III Capri alongside. Next up, a rear three-quarter view of DDF 415L. That's a 1972 Mark 1 Escort RS 1600. And one of several classic commercials to appear in this collection, a late 1970s Mark II Escort van. Sierra RS Cosworth, three-door, with a whale tail spoiler. There's a Mark II Escort, with four very large CB spot lamps on the front. And who 514? That's a console classic from 1962 with the 1340 cc four-cylinder engine. A couple of classics here. We've got a console Mark I on the right and a Ford Popular 103E on the left. Ford Cortina, family car of the late 1970s, early 1980s. This is a Mark V Cortina, very popular in its day, but you don't see many now. Back to Silverstone and then Mark I Lotus Cortina. Looking very purposeful, a 1600 GT Escort Mark I, again with the CB lamps on the front. And a Mark III Cortina, M registration, four door in yellow, fairly basic model by the look of things. Like many of these cars, once common but so rare now. There's a Ford Pop 103E that was in a museum. And the Mark II Cortina Lotus G registration, so that'll be anywhere between August 68 and July 69. And another Sierra Cosworth, this time at Silverstone, heading out onto the track, just driving down the pit lane. Head on view now of a C Reg, circa 1985, Mark III, I think, Ford Capri. And the Thames 400E, DOG 26C, that'll be a 1965 400E. And WKT 175, that's a 1956 Ford 100E Prefect. All the four door cars were the Prefects. There's a Capri alongside. Next up, we've got an Anglia 105E from 1964. Slightly modified. I'm sure there's something going on under that bonnet. Probably non-standard. Great little car. 
And we've got the first of several Mark II Cortina 1600Es. This is an f -Reg car from August 67 to July 68. And the Mark IV Zodiac TRF370G. A huge car. And another Sierra Cosworth down at Silverstone. I've seen a few there over the years. RS2000 with the droop snoot front on it. Based on the Mark II Ford Escort, of course, mid to late 1970s. And there's a Mark II console, 262 UPC, that's a 1961 car, four cylinder with an extra sun visor and extra lamps, etc. Very smart indeed. And here's an Allardette Anglia, an Allard tuned Ford Anglia back from the 1960s. That was down at Race Retro, I believe. And here's the second photo of YXY, the Mark II Zodiac that we saw before. Immaculate Ford, very much of the rock and roll era. With a Mark I Lotus Cortina. And a rear three quarter view of an Anglia estate. Very few of these are still around. This is a C registration car, so 1965 registration. And there's a uh, Granada in the background. And here's another 1600E J registration, so August 1970 onwards. Another RS2000, this one on a V registration, circa late 1979 car. If you like these classic Fords, please pop a note in the comments and say hello. If you own any of these cars, let us know how it's going. And here we've got a Mark 1 Escort in the museum, and JM 478K, circa 1971-72. And this is another Ford Prefect, but not 100E, this is the 107E, with the overhead valve engine from the 105E Anglia, only made for a short time with that particular engine. Next up we've got a bright yellow Mark 1 Capri, that's a, quite, a, quite a handsome machine, a 1600cc car from 1973. And the Ford Corsair. You don't see many good ones of those left now. Four-door saloon, of course. Continuing with these classic Fords, we've got another mildly modified Mark II Ford Escort. Quite a handsome machine, VCF 91S. So that'll be a 77 or 1978. And an E83W. Uh, I do have a separate video for the upright side valve Fords. I've included two or three in this particular collection, but if you like your side valve Fords, go and check out the video dedicated to them. And here we've got a Sea Reg 1965 four door Mark I Cortina. A Morgan and various other classics in attendance. And 785 DPG, that's a 1976 Ford Granada Mark I Coupe, three litre car. Very rare, it's probably the only photo I've got of one of those. That's followed by the Labatt sponsored Sierra Cosworth of the 1980s. Touring cars, of course. And a very smart Anglia, probably a super, I'm guessing, by all the extra trim, two-tone, wheel trims, etc. The rally prepared Mark II Escort, R registration, so that's 1976, I would imagine. Oh dear, very sorry for itself, uh, Ford P100 pickup truck, one of the later cars to appear in this collection of classic Fords. But getting rare now, and a VSL 675, that's a Ford 100E Prefect, with a Mark III Cortina behind and another 100E alongside. So a gathering of classic Fords there. And continuing the theme, we've got a pair of Mark II Escort rally cars, with an X-Works Mini in the background. Side-on view now of a Mark II Ford console of the late 1950s. That's followed by a console Capri. Museum time now, and a early 1980s Mark V Cortina. Quite a late example, I think. The Mark I Capri. Non-standard wheels, but the rest of it looks fairly original to me. With a stag, and there's a Mark I Escort behind it in the distance. Bright orange. Another Escort, somewhat modified. V registration, quite a late example of a Mark II Ford Escort. And the Avro Vulcan behind. A collection of Mark II Zodiacs and consoles. This was at a Tatton Park classic car show some years ago now. 
Do all these cars still survive? Are they still out there? That's followed by the Mark 1 Fiesta of the late 1970s, beginning of the 1980s. Again, one of those cars that used to be everywhere, but they all rotted away. Another three-door Cosworth rally car here. This was at Race Retro a year or two back. Lots more classic Fords to come, and here we've got an Escort in the livery of Alan Mann Racing Limited of Byfleet in England. Drivers Henry Mann and Jackie Oliver. A much modified 100E here, a two-door 100E. Started out life as an Anglia or a Popular, but uh, whatever's under the bonnet there now isn't the original by any means. Now we've got a side-on view of a bright yellow Mark I Capri with its black vinyl roof, looking very 1970s indeed. A pair of classic Ford side valves here, ERC 903. That's a 1954 car with the 1172 engine, so it's a pop, I believe, which has got many Anglia parts on it. Back down to Silverstone, and we've got a Sierra three-door Cosworth, the Lotus Cortina in the background, and a Capri way over in the distance. An MBF 201H, that's a Mark I Escort twin cam. Quite a rare car now, immaculate condition, mini light wheels, etc. Looking fantastic in the sun. That's followed by another Ford Anglia 105E. A couple of rare Mark I Grenadas in the background, including a high roof limousine version. There's a rally prepared Mark I Escort, of course. Again, race retro a few years back. And a rear view of a Cortina 1600E at rest. This was at a classic car morning gathering uh, a couple of years ago. There's a classic Mini alongside. There's a four-door Mark II Ford Cortina, G registration, so that'll be August 68 onwards. I think that's Dad's Morris Minor alongside. Here's an unusual one. We've got a two-door console classic, left-hand drive, probably from France, I would guess, judging by the yellow lamps. And a 1966 Ford Anglia 105E. I'm guessing that's the Super with the two-tone paint job. Close up look at the front of a Mark III Cortina GXL now. Very much a top of the line Cortina of its day. And then we've got a 1964 console Capri, a two door low roof line car. A side on view of a Mark I Capri racing car. This was at a preview for the Silverstone Classic a few years back. Oh dear. A very sad Ford Prefect 100E TCA370 no longer shows up as registered with DVLA, so I doubt it still survives. Hopefully this one does though, 200 YTW, that's a 1961 Ford Console Mark II. And here is the first of two photos of a Ford V8 Pilot from 1951 with the uh, flathead 3622cc engine under its bonnet. Of the old cars. Next up in this collection of classic Fords we have a Ford Capri police car. D registration, that'll be about 1986, 2.8i. You didn't want that in your mirrors when you were driving around in the late 1980s. Here are a couple of Ford RS 2000s. Very much a barn find Mark I Escort two-door. Hopefully it won't get built into a rally car. Hopefully it'll be preserved as it is. That must be almost unique, I would have thought. And a much modified two-door Cortina. Again, this was down at Silverstone two or three years ago. Look, the quick release bonnet pins on the front. And there's a really nicely preserved two-door Escort GYC 769K. That's a November 1971 Escort 1300. Absolutely immaculate and so rare now. Now we've got a Mark III Zephyr Estate with the very large hatchback or tailgate up in the air. A vast load bay there and a Mark I Granada. Four-door saloon, uh, towing a period caravan, I believe. We'll ignore the Volvo in the foreground. And here's a rally prepared Anglia Estate. This is down at the Haynes Motor Museum. Evidently it did the peaking to Paris, and this is a Sierra XR4i from the early 1980s, on a private registration number. 
the side view of an RS2000 with a slopey front on it. And I think that's a Sapphire Cosworth alongside and an Escort Cosworth just visible in the background. And here's a wonderful little E83W van in the livery of the Cooper Car Company Limited at the Goodwood Revival. Like I say, there's plenty of other side valve Ford content on the channel, so please hunt down those videos if you like that kind of thing. There's a rear three quarter view of a Mark II console with a Wolseley Hornet for company. And a sit up and beg Ford Prefect E493A, the 10 horsepower car powered by the 1172 side valve Ford engine, four cylinders, and not a lot of brake horsepower. Next up, GKH. 697N, that's a 1974 1300cc Mark I Ford Escort, a very rare survivor. Talking of rare, we've got a Crayford convertible version of the uh, Ford Corsair, two-door car, very rare now, non-standard wheels. Another rarity is this mildly modified Mark I Fiesta. And next up we've got the bright yellow Mark I Ford Escort RS 1600, I believe. Four CB lamps on the front, looking very purposeful. And here we have a 100E Anglia down at the Motor Museum, at the Haynes Motor Museum. There's a Mark II console alongside. A three bar grille. YRC 491M, that's a 1974 Capri Mark I, the RS 3.1, a 3100cc car. Quite a rare survivor now. I hope this survived. This was in a scrapyard in about 2005. Four-door Mark III Ford Cortina. Doesn't look in too bad a condition at all. I hope that didn't get cubed. And here's one that survived. A 1964 four-door Mark I Cortina on polished alley wheels. Looking really nice indeed. There's a Mark II Escort rally car down at Race Retro. In the uh, Rothmans livery. Period correct livery, of course. Look at old Ford Pop, the uh, MTK424, that's down at the Haynes Motor Museum, 1172cc, not much else, three-speed gearbox. And in total contrast, here is the RS200 rally car, back from the Group B days of the 1980s. Body panels by Reliant, of course. And here we have a rear three-quarter view of a Zephyr Mark II, arriving at a classic car show several years ago now, PJV838. Dear, and this Ford console classic, the four door saloon, looks like it's reached the end of the road. Unless you know better, do you recognize that car? Did it survive? Did it make it into restoration like this Mark 1 Ford Escort did? Who knows? Like I say, if you can fill me in on any of the background history of the cars shown here in the comment section, please pop a note in. Not far to go now, XYX429N, that's a 1973 RS 3.1 Capri. Fantastic. Another few Fords in the background, a two-door Lotus Cortina, a Mark 1, down at Race Retro on display, C registration, so that'll be a 1965 car, and that's followed by this H registration Ford Cortina 1600E, which was very much the plush version of the Mark 2 Cortina, this car from about 1969-70, and next up a side-on view of a Mark 1 Escort rally car, Done up in Lombard RAC livery. This was being demonstrated at Race Retro. And here we have a 105E Anglia with a few extra accessories. Period accessories, slightly bigger wheels, sun visor, etc. Next up, a Mark II Zephyr in grey all over. Arriving at a classic car gathering a few years ago. Very smart car indeed. And a head-on view of another 1600E. Usually finished in metallic, I think the 1600E has often had vinyl roofs as well. And this was a few years back, 100E Prefect in the display arena at a classic car show. It's a Capri in the background and a Mark II Cortina Lotus. Back to Race Retro at Stoneley and a three-door Cosy with a whale tail. Looks like a circuit racing car rather than a rally car, this one. Ah, there's that Cortina Lotus, the Mark II. I saw in the background of the photo a moment ago. There's a Capri in the background. The Mark 1 Escort Mexico. Fantastic car, getting rare now in very original condition. Most have been rallied and crashed, etc. So those that survive have a strong following now. And a rear three-quarter view of a four-door console classic. That's pursuing a Capri and the Cortina Lotus that we saw before. 
The very original looking angle box in grey all over. Extra wheel trims, that seems to be the only deviation from standard I think. I could be wrong. And this is the Thames 307E, which is the van version of the Anglia. Note how the bottom edge of the rear door curves up. That was designed to miss curbs when you swing the door open on your deliveries. Next up a maroon four door Mark II Cortina HVR254F. That'll be a late 1967 or early 1968 car. The side view of a race prepared Ford Anglia 105E. This was at the Goodwood Revival race meeting not that long ago. And 496 UYT, this is a 1958 Ford Zephyr Mark II with the 2,553cc straight six engine. And rounding out this collection of classic car, classic Ford car photographs if you like, is this Corsair looking particularly down at heel in a Welsh scrapyard. I doubt it survived. And that concludes this collection of classic Ford, classic British post-war Fords of the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s and into the 1980s. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was of interest. Like I say, if you like the side valve Fords, the sit up and beg Fords, there are several videos about those on the channel now. If you like this one, please give it a like and pop a comment in the notes below the video. More videos very soon. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.